Hi parents, it is quite a relief to know that children appear to be less affected by the coronavirus than adults are. However, if your child has a pre-existing illness, then they may have a different risk. So you have to take extra care, you know, to isolate your child from other children and adults. In this video, I'm going to share with you 12 tips on how you can best parent your children during this pandemic. Tip number one, if your child's school is not closed, but you have this gut feeling that you should not be sending your child to school, then it's best to just let your child stay at home. As parents, we have this special instinctive or gut feelings when it comes to looking after our children. So just follow your instincts. Tip number two, explain to your children in very simple language about the virus. See, they're listening to all the things that are happening, but they just don't have that understanding and that may put some fear in them. So explain to them, the coronavirus is a sister virus of a flu. Uh, it passes from one person to another when you're in close contact. Uh, so from now on, maybe, you know, instead of hugging and kissing outsiders, we can just say hi to them and wave. And then you can say that, you know, don't worry, this is very important that you assure them. Don't worry, mommy and daddy are here to keep you safe. And, you know, the virus is not going to stay forever. It's going to soon disappear. And you can let them know that, uh, you know, we may need to stay at home for a while. And a lot of other children are doing the same. So let's do together some exciting things at home together. And you can also let them know that we need to wash hands uh, regularly and avoid touching our face or eyes and, you know, different parts of the face. And we also need to eat more fruits and vegetables so we can fight off the virus. Tip number three, don't watch the news in front of your children. In fact, it is best not to let your children hear, listen to anything from the media because the media, you know, they all hyped up and they don't give you the entire truthful picture of what is happening. So limit the news watching. It just causes you anxiety, more anxiety and also for your children, especially if there is news about death and stuff. Tip number four, don't panic. Remember, this will all pass. If you panic, your children will also panic and they will start showing, you know, anxiety symptoms, you know, and that we'll cover that in another video. Tip number five, if your children are at home, do something together with them. This is a great time for bonding and doing activities together. It would be best, however, to limit, you know, TV or iPad time to just uh, one movie a day or two 45 minutes a day, because too much of screen time will then get your children very restless later. Yeah. Tip number six, avoid the sugars. Don't give them anything sweet. Don't give them donuts and chocolates and ice creams and all because what this does is this gets them very hyper and when they're hyper around the house then it will agitate you you want them calm so you know no sugars yeah tip number seven stay in touch with family and friends via whatsapp or video calls avoid meeting them in person Although children may not seem to be infected, they may be carriers of the virus. So it's best to keep them away from old people because then it will affect them. Yeah, we have to think of others as well. Tip number eight, keep your family schedule. Don't waver too much from the schedule. Eat, sleep, exercise, do everything on time like it's a regular time. You know, this will keep you sane and it will keep you healthy and uh, there won't be too much disturbance in the children's schedule as well. Tip number nine, have your vitamins. It is important for you to have vitamins and also for your children. And if you have nannies, it's best that you also give them a supply of vitamins. You need to stay fit. Tip number 10, avoid malls and shopping centers. Take long walks, you know, fresh air is good for you. The walk and the exercise will be superb for your children because when you come back home, they'll be tired, they'll sleep well. Yeah, but going to this uh, crowded malls, I wouldn't recommend. Tip number 11, assure, that you're, assure your children every night that there's nothing to worry about. The virus will soon be gone. Your continual assurance is very important. Like I said, they get very anxious otherwise. 
Tip number 12, these are not easy times, yes. So don't have too much expectations out of your children. Have more patience, have more tolerance. Ask your spouse to look after the children sometime during the day so you can have that few minutes or you know half an hour or one hour or a couple of hours where you can just lock yourself in your bedroom and chat with your friends or read a book or do something that will help you stay sane, okay? So um, that's all for me for now. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments, feel free to post it below. Bye for now.